Hello, everybody. This is Michael. In this video, we will discuss the modified schematic component of the default library. Okay. Um, let's take a look at the software. So first, uh, we create the project. New project like the previous one this is test zero one and uh, we open the sigmatic library edit and the first thing we need to load the library select a working library we will select the memory devices Oh, we can see another one if you want like the display okay then we will load a components so this is the components let's say any any components you want to change it okay so this is the components and the first things we change the name of the components And change it to my okay save it the second is and the last thing is, the next thing is we save the current component to a new library because we don't want to mess up with the original library okay so we save our old library here so this is my library my library save uh, it tell us we eat the library need to be loaded it first then will be available okay so we loaded it this is components library we added the new library which is our customized library okay uh, it is here is here so we already added the, our library here it's okay okay um, we can use the uh, um, library browser to take a look or we just uh, click the schematic and uh, Take a look, our library is here. Our uh, customized library is, is inside the list or not. So this is our customized library. So this is uh, uh, components already here. And uh, what we need to do is to change it. So we open this one. So still, in, this one is in the display library you will see the name the name still the old one and we need to select our customized one here and low uh, load the uh, our customized components this is our customized components which is save it okay so this is uh, the library we needed to change and uh, it, it is safe it is safe in my library okay what we need to do is a very simple thing we added one pin here so click here and click here it will pop up the pin name is we added uh, data zero Pin number is uh, 11. Let's make it 11. Okay. Put it here. And you can change the length of the pin. And let's take a look at the original one. Edit the pin. Is this length? Copy it. 
and then we take a look at all the new one edit pin so it's different lens so we paste it change so you will see it is the same one so move it a little bit move okay um then we already change it added one pin to the original components and we save the we save the library save save yes okay we save it uh, let's see we can um, whether we can uh, choose the new components or not you click here you click here and then any places of the schematic click one it will pop up a window and uh, select uh, my library select uh, these components this is my components you change we change the name okay so okay put it here then you can zoom in zoom out okay this is our my library and we added one pin here if you want to um, edit more pin and let's say you want to change more thing about the components how you do it so you can cl click right click and then choose edit components and then choose edit with library edit okay it will pop up the window like this and we added one more pin here okay you double click here it pop up this and then we added one more pin d2 d1 and the pin number is 12 uh, okay okay so we added one more pin we save it save save so um the library already be changed but how we make the this is sigmatic okay this is test one sigmatic how we so this is you just uh, uh press home or you just uh, press this one redraw review f3 so it will update it will update the components okay as uh, your changes as your change we do it again so we select it change the components edit with library edit and we uh, added uh, one more pin and which will be here and this is d3 this is 13 and we change it left put it okay so we save it save save okay so we need to update this uh, sigmatic components you can select it and redraw the view you will see here it is already update from the library okay okay that's it we in this video we modify one uh, schematic components of the default library and save it in uh, our old library our customized library and um, uh, make some change update to the schematic okay that's it and this is michael I hope you like it and thank you for your watching.